Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Purple Tech. Apple had their most important event of the year and I'm here to tell you all about it. Right off the bat, Apple started with their services. You know, they doubled down on the services. Apple TV Plus, many shows were released many 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 shows many movies is going to be awesome yet apple tv plus can still not be compared to netflix hbo disney and the likes many new shows will be premiering this year and it's going to start on the 17th of september next i want to talk about apple fitness plus it's still not available in our region not available in africa but it's good to know 1200 plus workouts available in 4k uhd new content released every week well i'm going to be happy when it hits our area the service is expanding rapidly and now you have meditation on your apple watch you can walk in audio with some funny people some nice people apple now allows you to do workouts in groups up to 32 people and obviously you can watch all the Apple Fitness Plus on your TV and then see what's happening on your watch. Let's now talk about the more fun stuff, the hardware. Well, it's starting with one that's not so fun, the new iPads. Apple reminded us that they have more than 1 million apps custom designed for the iPad. They released the new iPad, but I'm not too impressed. They maintain the design, that design is tested, is proven, we like it, we know it, with Touch ID on the front, big bezels, not really the best. It's using the two years old A13 chips, it's fine, it's okay for an iPad, you're gonna use it for a long time, it's gonna run iPad OS 15, so there's nothing you need to do there. It's a great iPad, it's starting at three to nine dollars retail in the US. So these refreshed iPads come with a 12 megapixel camera for those who like using the iPad to take pictures, it supports center stage. For those who don't know what center stage is, when you're on a video call, you are able to pan and zoom. The neural engine in the iPad is going to do panning and zooming for you automatically without you having to do anything. That's great when you're having a video call. It allows you to have a more natural call. For the starting 64 gigabyte, it's available in space gray, silver, nothing special. It supports the first generation Apple Pencil for those who want to draw on it. And you have the smart covers. Let's get into the fun stuff. The iPad mini. The new iPad mini take the design language of the existing iPad Air. It's flat with the corners straight and it's awesome. It's available in space gray, pink, purple and starlight. Yes, Apple is calling this weird shade of gold, Starlight. It has an 8.3 inch display and comes in the same footprint as this previous generation. The new iPad is having Touch ID on the, in the power button and gives you about 500 nits of brightness on the display. The new iPad mini comes with USB-C as you would come to expect. It has 5G, 12 megapixel camera and it now supports center stage as the regular iPad. It works with the second generation Apple Pencil and it starts at $4.99 in the US. Well, that's it for the iPad. Apple now has four different iPads with four different chips in their lineup. It's weird, some are still using Lightning, some are on USB-C. Uh, let's see what they do in the future. First of all, the new Apple Watch didn't have major improvements. It did not adopt the new design language as the rumors hinted us. I know Apple will not agree, but I think I would like, like that better. As Brian Tong usually says, this is a bad Apple. The Watch 7 has better cycling support with 20% more display area, which we got because Apple was able to reduce the border to 1.7 millimeters. The 70% brighter displays wraps around the edge of the Apple Watch and blends into the metal body. At the software level, we now get a full keyboard. You can swipe or tap to type on the Apple Watch. With the new watch faces, Apple now boasts of crack resistance on the Apple Watch with a whooping IP6X 
certification. The cable included in the box is USB-C on the brick side and we expect to charge our Apple Watch up to 80% in 45 minutes, which is nice. It remains compatible with your existing straps and starts at $399 in the US. Finally, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 mini. I know that's what you are waiting for. Apple went with the same lineup as last year. Four iPhones, simple, straightforward. Pink, blue, midnight, starlight, and product red. Yes, you heard me right. I guess space gray and black doesn't sound good enough for Apple. The two iPhone 13 have the same specs, 5.4 inch, 6.1 inches. So only the display is different and also the battery life. I'll come back to that later on. The new display goes up to 800 nits, which is 28% brighter and peaks at 1200 nits in max HDR. The new iPhone 13 runs on the new A15 silicon etched at five nanometers. It has six cores made of two high performance cores and four high efficiency cores. It integrates a 16 core neural engine that takes care of edge processing. Edge processing is a big deal. It simply means that to process information and analyze it and make decisions, your iPhone does not need to upload the information into the cloud. Stuff like reading on pictures and making decisions on that is becoming natural to your iPhone. I have a quick anecdote on that. Apple acquired Xnor AI last year in January for $200 million. And that company was specialized in edge processing with artificial intelligence. And I believe that's what Apple is using to give you edge processing. The dual camera system is maintained and this time mounted in diagonal to make it look different. We have a wide camera that shoots at 1.7 microns with an f1.6 aperture and an ultra wide camera that can capture more dark areas with less noise. Both cameras now support sensor shift stabilization, which means that instead of the lens moving to stabilize the image or the video, the sensors themselves will shift in the camera. We had this last year in the previous iPhones. Apple introduced a new feature called cinematic mode, which is also available on these two iPhone, iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini. Let's talk more about it. Cinematic mode is a whole new dimension. Apple is already the best if you ask me when it comes to video recording on phones and the gap just keeps getting bigger. Now you can focus the video automatically with AI from one point to another manually or even post prod. That means after recording, you can change the focus. This is mind blowing. Not only you can change the focus, but you can also change the intensity of the bokeh effect. This is the next generation and as usual Apple keeps leading the industry in this and I won't be surprised the next phones you are going to see from the competition will start having this kind of feature where you can change the focus increase the intensity of the bokeh post prod in the video recorded as we expect 5g support is included and Apple is adding up to 200 partners in 60 countries let's talk battery life we know Apple is not always the best when it comes to the iPhone battery. It can last you a day, but well, it depends on your utilization. Apple claims they give 1.5 hours additional on the new iPhone 13 and 13 mini. It, it's left for us to test it. Not important, MagSafe is still there. And well, I don't know how you like this or not, but the wallet now supports Find My. Don't ask me this in the comments. There's no charging brick in the box. These new iPhones will retail for $699 and $799 in the US. It starts at 128 GB, which is a great start, and you can max it up to 512 GB. Last but not least, iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone 13 Pro. Apple talks about a vapor deposition process to protect the device from abrasion and corrosion. Well, it is what it is. They're introducing a new blue color that they call Sierra Blue. I can't wait from the simply blue of the Pixel phones. There is a ceramic shield on the displays. This will give better crack resistance and the phones are 
IP68 resistant. The displays can crank up to 1000 nits and 1200 nits in max HDR. The chip inside the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max is the same A15 that you find in the iPhone 13 and 13 mini, but uh, with the exception of the GPU, the GPU has an extra core which takes it to five cores. I believe this is the most weighted feature of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It was hinted for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max, but it never happened. Promotion. Promotion was introduced on the iPad Pro and is now available on the iPhone. This means that your refresh rate on the iPhone is now up to 120 hertz and can go as low as 10 hertz. So what Apple is doing is that as you are swiping your fingers on the screen, the refresh rate will go as low or as high as the speed of your finger to give you a smoother experience. Cameras. 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 Cameras on the iPhone Pro lineup is always the most important because Apple is able to do all they want to do in those cameras. The Pro series includes three cameras as the previous versions that are all improved. The telephoto lens with three times optical zoom, the ultra wide with a wonderful f1.8 aperture and a wide camera that is 2.2 times better in low light. Macro photography is now enabled from the wide camera you get macros up to two centimeters. It's, it's a nice feature because Apple didn't really have to include a new sensor for that, but you are still able to get that feature. All cameras have night mode. We already had that last year using computational photography, but for the first time, the standard camera app on your iPhone gives you different styles. You can have brightness, you can have high contrast depending on your mood, the way you like it. Just similar to what Huawei and the Samsung guys are doing, you get some kind of styles in your camera app. ProRes is now supported for video recording. ProRes allows you to edit the picture and have all the information of the lens and the camera at the time the picture was captured. Now it's available in video, which gives you more flexibility when you are editing in 4K 30 frames per second. Just keep in mind that the 10 minute footage in ProRes can take up to 100 gig on your iPhone. <laughs> That's like the whole 128 gig that you got as, at the starting point. Better battery life on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max, 1.5 to 2.5 hours additional. Knowing that the promotion was added, I think uh, it's good, it's significant. Apple is going to keep increasing this battery one bit at a time and eventually we'll get to what we have with the competition. It starts at 9.99 and 10.99 for the Pro Max version, one to eight GB in the US, and it can go as much as 1599 for the one terabyte version. Pre-order starts on Friday and is going to be available from September 24th. All right, that was a great event. It leaves me with mixed feelings. Um, this is not the Apple that I like. This is not the Apple that I've always loved. What happened to the Apple that innovates first? The Apple that would have removed the notch. Instead of reducing it, I don't really get it. I need Apple to be more innovative. It's true, the company has grown bigger under the leadership of Tim Cook, but I think they can do more. I like the iPhone 13 lineup. Coming from an iPhone 11 Pro Max, I know the iPhone 13 Pro Max will give me something better, but Apple can do more, way more. So what do I recommend for you to do? Um, if you have an Apple Watch 6, don't move to the 7. You have an Apple Watch earlier version, like Series 3, like me, you can move to the Watch 7. It's great, but a better choice would be the SE. If you have an iPad, keep it. If you want, like the iPad mini, or you have the old version of the iPad mini, this new iPad mini is great. It gives you all the new features. You get your USB-C, you get a better camera, you get the new design language, it's awesome. Apple services are great. It's Apple's way of getting recurring revenue. They want to take your money every month. Consolidate, get the Apple One so that your Apple Music, Apple Arcade, etc., come into one. If you're in a region that supports Apple Fitness Plus, great for you. Apple TV Plus has a lot of videos that are going to be released. Don't pirate them. Get Apple TV Plus service and watch it genuinely. We've already seen Apple sponsor short movies. We've seen them sponsor clips where people only use the iPhone to record movies or video clips. I'd like to see them record full movies or TV shows with these iPhones. Let them put their money where their mouth is. 
Let us see full series, full TV shows on Apple TV Plus that are recorded using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It really helps with our production. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it and drop me your comments. Let me know what you think of the Apple event. My name is Igor and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.